Hey YouTube, welcome back, and today we're playing some more cash games, playing 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Alright, small line opens, call the 8-7 here, flop top pair. Uh, that's small call. Two pair on the turn. Pretty fun turn card here, there's a decent amount of draws here, so we're definitely going to be planning on raising. Calls, five hearts river. Uh, probably one of the worst cards in the deck. Six makes a straight, and the hearts come in. Just gonna be a snap check back, and we're good versus the overpair. So still win the pot. Um, some good rivers there. We could maybe one more, but tough spot for him if I bet river on a lot of rivers. All right, opening ten, two calls here. We flip up top top. Uh, there are two fives out there, but especially with one of the stacks being short, I think this still ends up being a bet. Uh, two calls is a bit scary. Uh, I'm trying to think what we do here. Again, I think because of this one player stack size, we bet again. If we're both pretty deep, um, he leads, we'll just call lead and then hope for a non-diamond river. Obviously, don't want to see some of the overcards too. So this one's pretty tough here because if he jams now, it's like we lose to a lot. I do have the best 10, so I don't know if he does this with like king 10, queen 10. Gosh. I think because of how short he is, we... Oh man, but it goes three ways, and then he leads turn small, and diamonds come in. It's a weird one. I'm going to fold, but that might have been way too tight. Obviously calling on a non-diamond river. He might have just been jamming king-10, queen-10, which partly makes me concerned. That was a bad fold. All right, open queen-10 here. Flop a 10. Small in the flop. See the call for turn, but again. Uh, get raised. I th this is kind of scary, but could be turning some hands into blow. I think a lot of his 6x check raises flop, so I'm actually going to just call here. King River. So, King 10 becomes less likely. Oh, I just overbet rips it. I mean, I guess yeah, right, it makes sense. We're pretty deep here. Or not super deep, but sorry. Um... I'd have to hope he's turning a hand into like 7, 8, 9, 8 with diamonds in particular into a bluff. I think that'd be like the best candidate. Um, we're chopping another 10x, although I don't think it just like a bare 10 ever takes this line, so I don't really think that's a thing. Oh, geez, another tough spot today. I think I'm going to find the fold on. Button opens, 3 betting is king. See the call. Queen 4-2, we're going to go small here. We do have ace-king with the ace of clubs. There's going to be some turns we can pick up equity. That's not really a great one. Uh, we do block the best queen x, though. I'm actually going to bet small again as a bluff, and then jam potentially a club river. Uh, he raises, though. Uh, can I call for 63? The way he's playing, I maybe can't, because if he has some draws, he might just check back and give up, and then if we hit ace or king, we go with it. So I'm going to call Queen of Hearts River, check, and then if he jams, we fold. So it's like 145 back, and yeah, we ended up beating King Ten of Clubs, so that's a fun one there. But he's been doing a lot of like small raising and then just had like draws and giving up late, so like that's why we think we can just like check down and win sometimes there. Button open, small and flat, we'll call as well. Uh, flop the straight, huge flop. Guys. Huge, huge flop. I'm uh, going to check here, setting up check raise. Targeting two pair and sets here from the button. Also have a club, which is nice, so we're going to be blocking some potential flushes. So if a club comes, it becomes less worrisome. Still worrisome, but anyways, button calls. This player rejams. With all this money in here, we're just going to get this in. Just hold. We're probably going to have to hold against some big stuff here. Although this is going to look, the button's going to have to have some folds. So let's see what this player has as a set of nine. So we just don't want to see a board pair. Jack 10 holds, very nice. Even had the club coverage too. Here we open to $12.50, get min raised to 25 bucks. So we call it anything we open. <laughs> this is a little loose of an open to begin with. So up the open ender though. Uh, once they bet out, I'm trying to think if I want to start bluffing with this hand or not. Um, I think I'm just going to flat now and then maybe start bluffing if they check turn. 
takes a while and bets. Uh, I'm just gonna call here. Probably full versus bigger size is eight river. And then I'm probably gonna bomb as a bluff here. Trying to get like a king or anything to fold. It's also gonna have some auto folds. Like obviously we didn't get one, which is unfortunate, but we're gonna go big here and they fold. Here we check back flop, see the turn bet will call. Over bets. Uh, it'd be kind of fun to jam here having the ace actually. I'm actually gonna go for the raise here as a bluff. I maybe should jam this because I, I don't know if he's gonna fold flushes for this size. Wow, he jammed it. I mean, I block everything but the straight flush. Dang. Okay, so obviously I can't call here, but he snap rips it in. But I'm probably glad I didn't jam myself then. What? I'm wondering how thin, like what, what value hand would he even do there? Like the king high flush? Maybe should I should have just called it the seven. I don't know. Because again, I just like, I can't think of what value hand he would raise once I raise the over bet. All right, so we open flat squeeze. We're gonna put in the four bet. Jams we call, kings and aces. Come on, man, club, club. Oh my gosh. Man, oh man, that's annoying. All right, so I get kings in versus aces, even flop the club outs and I can't get there. All right, well, it looks like we're pot committed here. Open we three best player jams 118 as long as Greg folds obviously to call. Hopefully it's like tens or nines and we're flipping. He just calls interesting. So I guess we just peel then as well. Whew, all right, lots of equity. So pair and flush draw. I know we have to beat a hand, which kind of is unfortunate because like when we just get folds there, we don't win. He jams while we're playing a massive pot. He's got king queen. Ooh, the jack does it. Yes, we want a massive one. Running good there, so we, we're drawn to a jack or a diamond. And we hit, and it's good. Um, uh, open king, queen of spades, flop the flush. That's pretty fun. 10, 9, 3. I uh, go for a small bet. Bunch of calls, 5 on the turn. Gonna be betting again. Queen River, so we got the second nuts here. He ends up having the ace five flush, we hate it, but <laughs> we are gonna go big. Uh, and if he jams, we would call here. But we'll go for it. Hope he has worse flush calls, we're good. If he jams, he probably has the ace of spades and some other card. Hopefully it's not a spade, but all he does have it nuts versus second nuts that's so gross all right undergun open three betting tens here get called pretty quick jack six two go for the small size calls four on the turn will check that's third will call Ooh, river the set. Huge river card here, potentially. And it's not even the diamond. The best card in the deck. That's small. We're going to be jamming. Wait a second and go for it. She calls Queen Jack. Wow, we just got so lucky. That is just running good. Obviously, a super frustrating spot for them. That's just me running better. <laughs> Here we open sixes, get three calls, massive flop, flop the set on an ace high board. I'm gonna go ahead and bet. Get raised, wow. We're crazy deep with this guy. Um, so I don't think he ever flats queens pre. Um, so I'm actually gonna play, this is a pretty exploit line. I'm going to raise to go with single raise pot pre absurd to go crazy with, but again, I don't think he ever flats aces pre or queens. 
So I'm targeting exactly Ace Queen and flush draws. Calls. Deuce turn. So once the flop gets this crazy, I think we just jam. Again, maybe we hope he puts us on like King Ten of Spades, or if he has that, he decides he just wants to call. So here we go. It's an absolutely massive pot. We're gonna go for it. Again, mainly targeting Ace Queen here, or his like massive draw that just decides he doesn't want to fold King Ten of Spades, King Jack of Spades. Folds Ace Six. Oh man, we got him fold two pair. Doesn't feel very good. <laughs> so. Maybe should have gone like a bit smaller and then potted turn and then jammed good rivers. I don't know. All right, Odie's king, flat, flat, three bet. Time to four bet. This guy is pretty wild pre flop. We've seen him jam like jack ton offsuit and stuff. So once we do this, obviously calling if he were to rip. Calls. Interesting. Um, ace high flop. And again, against him specifically, I'm going to play this as a check. On a spade turn, though, I just have to get it in. He bets pot will get in the rest for another 80 bucks. As ace jack, ace king, a good, a perfect flop for us there. All right, YouTube, that wraps up another session here, and we book a win today. So in the six hours, we played both 2-5 and 1-2. In the 2-5 game, 1,525 hands, profit of 658. In the 1-2 game, 1,109 hands, profit of 178. Total profit plus 836. Pretty swingy session. I think we went from anywhere from, like, minus 900 to like plus 1300 and it was just like constantly going up and back and forth so nice to book the win today for a few buy-ins uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video please remember to like comment and subscribe and if you ever want to watch the live streams on twitch i have a link to my twitch channel in the description below